now go back to Nairobi to discuss macroeconomic issues in the aftermath of this week's elections in Kenya with Eliud Moyu. He's a policy analyst at the Kenyan Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis. Um, Dr. Moyu, of course, the b larger issues, very much the economy, uh, unemployment, getting uh, bigger growth figures up. Um, will the election of any particular candidate change fundamentally the economic challenges awaiting Kenya? Um, I think the basically the current situation um, presents macroeconomic challenges and this will happen mainly through the political risk um, um, that is likely to have, uh, affect private investment, um, likely to affect uh, export activity, and uh, that is likely to affect uh, the overall performance of the economy. And so we, 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 we basically um, expect that uh, uh, the, 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 the current, uh, the current uh, political uh, uh, situation is likely to have um, um, uh, an impact on economic performance. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the, the tension is mounting as we're waiting for the results. There is the potential that if the results are not accepted, that there could be violence. Um, everyone is very confident that this time around the Kenyan electorate is much more mature. A lot has been put in place uh, to prevent the kind of violence that we saw back in 2007. From a risk point of view, um, has enough been done to um, minimize or ameliorate that risk um, as you know the clock is ticking and as the counting is happening? Um, yeah, I, I think basically the 207 experience uh, threw the nation into uh, a planning uh, um, a planning mode. And so a lot of things have been happening since then as we moved closer to the current election. Uh, I am aware of uh, civil society initiatives. There have been uh, public sector initiatives, of course, to sensitize communities, uh, to step up security, to uh, restore public trust and confidence in the uh, in the electoral process, and uh, of course the, mo the, the, the main fundamental one was the constitutional uh, reforms that have been done uh, between um, uh, that time, um, and particularly they were stepped up in 2010 when the, uh, the 2010 constitution was passed. And so I can say that um, uh, we, are, we, we have or over time put in place quite a number of uh, initiatives to arrest uh, recurrence of violence. And uh, I, I think evidence of this is what uh, happened in Coast uh, Province, I think during the, uh, the eve of the voting. Um, uh, we had the security situation beefed up very quickly. Uh, this is mainly because of the uh, initiatives that have been put in place since 2007. And uh, I think um, we, we, we are unlikely to see a worse situation uh, uh, like the one we had in 2007.